Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Spore number 23. And as I promised last time, or as I promised a couple of episodes ago, I was going to do an experiment where I lured Fairy Vampire Octopus into an airlock and dumped her into space as soon as we reached the space stage. Well, I've tried it and apparently octopus do, or octopi do not breed all too well in outer space. So, I'm sorry to inform you that Fire Vampire Octopus will not be joining us for a... Well, at least not until my Kahal researchers can put her body back together. Which requires us carving space for those final missing bits. Oh well, she'll do fine without. Anyways, welcome back to Let's Play Spore. As I said, I believe this is number 23, it is. And we're approaching the planet of the mission we took last time. We have two planets here. We have Melky, which is a red spice planet, and we have Mandrius, which is a T2 world with creatures but with no spice, which is unusual since every planet in the galaxy tends to have spice, which is... Well, to quote Frank Herbert for it, He who controls the spice controls the universe! So yeah, it's basically the money used in Spore, especially the space stage. Or at least can get you money, which is in spore bucks. As if every nation in the galaxy would use something called bucks. I think credits would have made more sense, but hey, who am I? A European guy. And yeah, something is showing up on the ship's radar. I know, I'm boring with that FBO. Get over it. <gasps> it's a city. It's green. Or that's just my silly radar screen, which is supposed to look like funny, funky... F whatever. Too late! These ruins must be what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Serves them right with a shit that look like that. Scanning the ruins may reveal clues to what happened here. So now I'm no longer a space captain, I'm Sherlock freaking Holmes. Scanning the ruins. The scan came up with nothing, but it seems to have triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. <coughs> the scan must have triggered the colony's defenses. These drones don't look friendly. No, they look like Federation starships. Which is probably not friendly. Wait, an incoming transmission. Warning, Grox intruders detected. All Grox intruders must be eliminated. What do you mean? Grox? Initializing South Defense Code, Grox 999, which is 666XORR9, upside down. Oh my god, these Grox must be devil thingies. All Grox intruders will be eliminated. We are not Grox! Warning! All Grox intruders will be terminated. For the last time, we are not Grox! No, we're opening communications instead of firing my Elker. And indeed, they do look like Federation starships. It's actually called the USS Enterprise even. Uh oh. Poor Federation starships. The poor Federation, they must have been destroyed by these Grox. Even though the Borg make more sense. Now, the best way to fight space sh uh, battles. In my experience, especially early on, but later on too, as you get used to it, is just flying around, staying out of reach of the enemy, since you're a lot faster, aren't a lot more maneuverable, and have better weapons than the enemy. Which, except for maybe the Crocs, which is basically the big evil space race in the center of the galaxy, which should have played a much more important role than it does. It's just like, oh yeah, they're the big bad guys, but you hardly really notice that they don't impact the game like the Reaper from Mass Effect or anything. Anyways, yeah, we just destroyed these Enterprise thingies. And we have a mission accomplished. Return to your home world to complete the mission. As I was saying, yeah, the Grox are this evil intelligence that lives in the center of the galaxy, and they're the big evil bad guys. They're not related to the Grox from Warhammer 40k, which is kind of like huge purple lizardman thingies. <gasps> Your SETI device has revealed a strange radio and signals emitted from this star. Fly in to explore. 
What the? This is my home world. How can I get strange radio messages from this? Wow, we got night spies on a planet that hasn't reached us out of the space. Rat spies is pretty much useless. Unless you can get the right planet for right spies, but uh, the most important spices are purple and cyan. Teal or whatever. Mission accomplished. We knew we weren't alone in the galaxy. Traces of extinct civilization, hostile security drones, and the drugs. It's obvious we must continue our exploration of the galaxy and potentially prepare for our hostilities. Hostilities? I was planning to throw a party, but hey. Hostilities are more fun. We actually have a WMD on board in the form of a gravity wave, which is going to not make me many friends if I start using it. So I'd better save that until I have the weapons to properly fend off any alien species that might be stupid enough to attack me after I use it. In order to do so, we'll need to set up colonies as bases of operation. Our scientists are already reverse engineering the interstellar drive replica to replicate its technology. What, we just traveled over a parsec between stars and we don't have an interstellar drive? We also developed a SETI device for our ship. A search for extraterrestrial intelligence device. So I'm basically going to fly around and detect um, signals from thousands of light years away and arrive when the, gal uh, when the civilization that sent these signals has long since been gone extinct. Um, it will pick up signals of other sentient life in the galaxy, indicating indicated by radio signals over the stars that you target. We need you at the helm of our space program, Captain. I'm in, since you don't have any other spaceships to take my place. We need to expand our empire out of our wealth by building colonies and other planets for mining resources. We've drafted a few volunteers to be part of the colony in credit pack, which we've placed in your colonization bin. Our astronomers have been observing the heavens and have identified the hospitable planet, Clanny. Actually, I'm just going to use this on our planet since it's cheaper than buying new credit packs. And you don't want to do that because they give you a rat spice planet. You don't want a rat spice planet, you want other planets. Okay, how do I establish a colony? Excellent, placing colonies is easy. After flying to the planet Clanny, select the colony tool that has been added to your colonial tools in and place it on the colony on land. But I wanted one with a harbor like we have in the capital. Or no, we didn't have one in the capital. As we have on our own planet. Which you can't. You're a spice geyser. Why would I do that? It will instantly unpack, creating a colony. No assembly requir required. Damn, I love assembling stuff. You might want to make contact with the colony to make sure it's the citizens are well packed. They're unpacked safely. Why would I care? Oh, one more thing. I will make the prior proud so long. So long, suckers! So yeah, we're going to place the first colony we have on the moon of our own planet. Oh wait, the colony in credit pack thing doesn't work that way. It doesn't give you a new one, it doesn't care as long as you place a colony. We might put it on our moon. But I'm just going to move around first and see if I can find myself some nice little... Oh, here we have a tribal planet, which I can explore later. It's not as if this system is very worthwhile. Lots of yellow spice and stuff. And as I told you before, I don't want the yellow spice. Hmm, looks like we're running out of time already. So, with me approaching this planet on this very, very wealthy system, with pink spice, which is even more rare than the teal spice I was talking about, I'm going to uh, put myself over here and call it a day. See you later, people. Oh, yeah, after this movie. I'll explain that once we return to you.